Hey guys, wanted to do a quick video because I found the video that is connected to the 517 uh, video that I put out the other day. So um, I hope you all are doing good. Um, I've been talking about watching Pentecost for the Lord to come and how um, I had been given a number several months ago and it was 517 and i knew there was more to my own story because sometimes i can actually forget <clears throat> some of all these details that that i get and you know there's just so much information all the time and with other people's stuff too but so what what it was and i'm going to leave the link for the video if you want to see it that i did before several months ago Okay, it all started when I, I, I got out of the car and I saw two cars right in front of me and both of the license plates said 517. I thought, okay, that's weird. You know, something to take note of. So then I'm driving home a couple hours later and there's a 517 right in front of me as I'm turning into the driveway. So that, okay, well, you know, <clears throat> I feel like God's pointing to something, but I don't know what is going on. I had no clue at all. <clears throat> okay. So then what happened is several months later, I kept seeing it. And I thought, you know, I could do a video, but all I can say is, hey, everyone, I keep seeing 517 and I have no idea what it means. That's all I would be able to say. So I never did do a video until... I saw it again. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I think God's trying to say something. So this was back in 2020. And I remember I was looking up the, uh, I was asking God, what, what, what is, what's up with this number? So I was looking up the solar eclipse wedding ring that happened a year prior. This was in December. So I was <clears throat> looking up the solar eclipse wedding ring, December 26, 2019. Because at the time I was thinking maybe there's like a year warning here, like Queen Esther prepared for a year for the king, right? So I look it up and I, I'm, I'm noticing that it's the eclipse started at 5 17 PM. <clears throat> so right then I thought, okay, you know what? I think God is pointing to something here. So I thought maybe, you know, maybe December, 2020 was a, the rapture time because it's a year later. Okay. So now that Pentecost is going to be May 17th, which is 517. I suddenly thought maybe when he did the solar eclipse wedding ring, he was pointing at that time to Pentecost, now 517. Um, okay, so these are my thoughts right now on what might be going on. There's a lot of other stuff uh, pointing to Pentecost right now. Oh, um, there's also something. <clears throat> I saw an amazing video last night. I want to give you the channel. It's the channel, The Return of the King. He shows the, the blood moon chart and everything. It's amazing. For, starting in 2014, there was those blood moon tetrad. And then there was three blood moons after that. That's seven blood moons <clears throat> in seven years. And then, so that's seven sevens, right? Pointing to Daniel, okay? <clears throat> and God's number of completion, seven. Well, the, the blood moon coming up on May 26th, next, this month, it's the eighth one. And it looks like a tribulation blood moon. So I'll leave you the link to his channel. It's amazing calculations going on there. This is going to run out here. Um, I love you guys. Uh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm really feeling like this, this, this feels like it's it. Okay. God bless you guys.